what's up youtube it's josh creates here with another video in today's video we are back with the food inflation let's see how these prices are rising in 2024 so without further ado let's get right into it food prices at the grocery store are expected to keep rising in 2024 uh, canada's annual food price report predicts that food prices will rise somewhere between two and a half percent to four and a half percent next year as inflation continues to moderate. Bakery, meat, and vegetables are expected to go up the most. It's an increase of five to seven percent according to the report. The researchers behind this report are also predicting a family of four will spend about seven hundred dollars more on food in 2024 than they did this year in 2023 for an annual estimate of $16,297.20. Oh, wow. Let me know in the comments, how does this problem get fixed? Yeah, man. Uh, veggies, meat, and what, bakery are expected to like what? Keep going, prices are keep going up? Why do they need to go up when the food is not even real? It's GMO. Or it's been altered with. That's ridiculous. Man, I don't know. Let's talk about 2024 predictions real quick. I think that one of the top three issues in the presidential election is going to be about food prices. So we're already seeing food prices like going up right now, but we haven't seen the real full impact yet of the supply, supply chain issues. So one example I, I've seen on TikTok, um, small farmers, small cow farmers are selling off their cows, like a whole bunch of them, um, because they can't afford to raise these animals. So they're just selling off as many as they can. So that means in about a year, year or two, um, the supply of beef and other, um, other meats is going to be small. The supply is going to be small, which of course is going to drive up the prices. So in the presidential election, again, I think one of the top three issues is going to be food prices. So what do you think? When did these become four ninety nine a package? 12 to 14. 12 to 14 rice cakes per package. Do you know how much rice it takes to make 12 to 14 rice cakes? Do you have an oven? Which I do not. One cup. One cup and a dash of salt. And yet they have found a way here at Quaker to serve it up to you. One cup and a dash of salt for four ninety nine. I'm going to go on a hunger strike. Like, I can't. Do you know how much a cup of white rice costs? Twenty-two cents. Twenty-two cents and a dash of salt. Literally the two cheapest things you can get in the grocery store per pound. So count the bag and the plastic chemicals that it's wrapped in. You're looking at 35 cents. 35 cents, Quaker. Can you please justify the four ninety nine price tag? Rice cakes don't even have an advertising campaign because most people don't like them. They taste like cardboard. True. But for someone who's gluten-free like me, I, I like them. It's like a great alternative to toast. I want an oven in my van. <laughs> By the way, there's recipes all over the internet for gluten-free rice cakes. I will pay you. <laughs> Nuts. Oh my gosh. Inflation has officially made the dollar menu non-existent now. Now the dollar menu is not a thing anymore. Especially in states like New York and California, because the minimum wage is higher here. So now you're going to be paying three, four, five dollars for one burger from McDonald's. I really can't believe this shit, bro. Like, I remember when I was like 10 years old and that shit was like a dollar. And like now I'm 18 and it's like, damn. Now this shit is like triple the price. Like, God damn. Yep. But we're not making triple the wages, though. Mm, exactly. So it doesn't really balance out when you think about it. So we're honestly getting finessed. In our faces by McDonald's, we're getting finessed. God damn. <laughs> I am flabbergasted. Why? What happened? Oh. Do you see the amount of chips that are in here? You mean the amount of air that is in there? Hey, they're wasting a shit ton of that. They should just make that a freaking mini bag. It says 10 ounces. It's $5. $5 for that. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Canadians could yeah, see an X. Crazy. 
brands, companies are just slapping non-GMO and stuff like that, and then they're just upping the price. That's crazy. Extra seven hundred dollars added to their grocery bills in twenty twenty four. Canada's food price report predicts that overall food prices will increase by two point five to four point five percent next year. This means that the average Canadian family of four is expected to spend sixteen thousand two hundred and ninety seven dollars in twenty twenty four, which is a seven hundred dollar increase from last year. And for more news like this, make sure to download the Blog Tio app. The link is in our bio. Thanks for the info. Food costs for a family of four in Canada is expected to rise by seven hundred dollars in twenty twenty four. The average grocery bill will be over sixteen thousand dollars in twenty twenty four for two parents and two children. The reason for these higher costs are a rise in interest rates, energy costs, and climate change. Also, the wars in Ukraine and the Middle East will contribute to higher prices. Stuart Smith, a professor at the University of Saskatchewan, said that immediate relief could come to Canadians if we cut the carbon tax. How have grocery prices gotten so expensive for Canadians? Let us know why in the comments down below yo what happened to the u.s and canada giving out stimulus checks dog like literally what happened to that that would have that would have helped out in my opinion what i look like giving up today when tomorrow aye. might be the day i win aye, aye, aye. <laughs> I can't lie, when I'm at the grocery store and I see like other people's carts that have like a whole bunch of food in it, I'm there like, I wonder what they do to afford all of that. I kind of get jealous. It's like a competition thing psychologically. It's like, how do you do that? How do how are you able to afford that? <laughs> Let's continue. Stopping in 2024. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. No. Everything okay, ma'am? Uh, it's just that you've only scanned a few items and it's already 60 bucks. I, I'm so scared. Okay, I'm a trained professional, ma'am. I've scanned a lot of groceries. I need you to stay with me. It's just that my in-laws are in town and they want a charcuterie board. Well, this isn't going to be easy, so I need you to be brave, all right? What's your name? Patricia. Patricia, all right. I need you to take a deep breath. We're about to do the cheese. <gasps> oh, my God. Up. The numbers are going up so fast. Oh, my God. Why do we have to be a Alderson's house! Don't look up there, it only makes it worse. Keep your eyes on me, okay? <sighs> can't you just scan something less expensive? I can, but let's not forget, it's the little things that add up, all right? Now brace yourself, I'm about to do the mixed nuts. Oh my god, I'm gonna pass out! Okay, bite down on this, Patricia. <sighs> Get ready, I'm gonna do the cured meats. <laughs> oh, no, stop. My god, I almost a thousand. It's too late, there's a line behind you, okay? You're locked in. <laughs> I know it looks like a lot right now, but I promise you, you're going to get home and you're going to wonder, what did I even buy? <laughs> uh, that's it for that video, but like, dog, that's how it feels. And I think he only scanned like five items and it's already a thousand dollars, basically. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. We're already starting off 2024 with even more higher grocery prices. Um, it's getting to the point where every time you go to the grocery, well, for me, I get anxiety. I get anxiety and I don't know how much my budget, I know my budget, but I, I just hope I don't go over my budget, you know? But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Let me hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. It seems like nothing has changed as far as like a uh, price decrease for uh, food. It's gonna, it may get more expensive, I just got gas today. Gas price went down to two ninety seven. I know it's gonna go back up. It went down for you know Martin Luther King Day and stuff like that, but uh, I know it's gonna go right back up. They're treating gas prices like, like, like it's a Amazon deal or something. You know what I mean? You starting up, like like random deals that just like go the price go down for like a good week or two and then that's it. It goes right back up. But anyways, guys, uh, let me hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Needless to say, everything will be okay. My name is Josh Creates. I'm out.